Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for tuning in. Let me ask you a question. Is it smarter to buy before the distribution date and sell right after you receive the payment? Or should you hold on to long term buy and hold? What do you think? Okay, hold your thoughts for a minute. What I'm going to do in this video is perform a detailed mathematical analysis of both the strategy. I will take a look at monthly flip versus buy and hold. When I say monthly flip, what that means is we will buy before the distribution date and sell it right after we got the payments. So we will take a look at both of these strategy for the last six months or so, perform the detailed mathematical analysis. And after watching this video, you will know exactly which is the most profitable strategy. And then let's see if it matches with what you thought of it. So stick around because you are not going to find this kind of information anywhere else. One request before we move on. I am on a mission to hit 1000 subscribers by the end of the month. And I can't do it without you. I need your help to get that goal. So if you find this video helpful or learn something new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. One last thing, I am not a financial advisor. Neither am I financial analyst. So I'm not going to tell you what to buy, what to sell, when to buy, when to sell. I'm a mathematician by profession. So what I do in my videos are detailed mathematical analysis. Uh, you can call it a back testing. I'll take a look at the last six month air data and do detailed mathematical analysis to see how things behave. And based on that, we make some projection. So let's start that. So there are, if you look at the yield max ETF, right? You go to the yield max ETF website, there are more than 30 of this ETF, right? So I'm going to pick some of those for my video demonstration. In this particular one, I will be talking about MSTY. MSTY, that is what I will be talking in detail here, this one. And the next video, which I will do, I will talk about NVDY, NVIDIA, then we can talk about Tesla. And if there's any other videos you want to take a look at it, any other ETF symbol, please write it down in the comment section and I will make a video on that. So there'll be one video for each symbol. So this is focused on MSTY. So let's take a look at it. This is Yieldmax ETF website. The fund started in February 21, 2024, right? That's what the fund was started. And there's, there's one more thing to notice. If you look at NAV and the closing price, these are kind of very close to each other, right? So when I say stock price, just think of it as NAV. Yeah, there are slight difference, but it's pretty close. So the fund started on February 21, 2024, and it's been paying monthly dividend, right? The first dividend was paid on 4 4 20, actually 4 8 2024. Then it was paid on May, June, July, August, September, right? <coughs> Excuse me. And this is the amount of distribution that was paid per month. So let's do this. So in this video, I will be doing a detailed analysis of MSTY. And we're going to see if we bought it on February 20, 20, February 21, 2024 and hold it on my call till today. Was that profitable or if we were buying it on a monthly basis and just selling after getting a dividend, that was profitable. So we'll make a comparison of both of those side by side and see which one is more profitable. So here's what I'm going to do. So let's go to the Google sheet and do some calculation. So the way I do is I go to the Yahoo, right? So there's only three things that you need to look at it. The stock price and the dividend that's received. So the fund was started on February 2024, right? So let's go to the Google over here. And I, you know, Google, you can go to finance one and I put MSTY here. And you see the February 2021, the first day the stock closed at $21.19. So here's a so what I'm going to do is for the sake of demonstration, invest $5,000, it's in a hypothetical. You can put your actual money, your choice. I'm gonna take $5,000 for this calculation. So February 2021, 20, 24, the price was $21.19, right? So, so since I, well, excuse me, let's do this, $21.19, right? no, let's do this. I'm investing $5,000. The stock price is $21.19. So it's come up to 235.96. I 
I do know we do not bind fraction, but just for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to leave it over here. Instead of making it 236 or 235, I will leave it at, as 235.96, and you can, you know, you can adjust it per your needs. Now, if we buy it on the first day, it started trading at $21.19, and we still have it in our account, right, when the last payment was made. So if you look at it, the last payment was made on September 9, right? So I go back on September 9. So I own 235.96 share of the MSTY. Now let's take a look at it on the September 9, 2024, what the price was, right? So go to Google, September 9, 2024. Here it is. Okay, September 9, the price was $20.53, right? So I go over here, $20.53. Now, since I bought on February and the first dividend was paid on April, so since I still have that in my account, so April, May, June, July, August, September, so I've been getting di distribution every month, right? So this is what I've been getting. So for simplicity, I put it over here, right? So monthly, this is how much getting paid so total i got paid 15 dollar 81 cents right so 1581 the dividend we got paid for every single one of them now let's take a look at this one right so what the stock value is total right the stock value is price of the stock today multiply with number of share we have 4844 dollar so the five thousand dollar that i invested on february 21 is equal to four thousand eight hundred and forty four dollar 27 century but since i have this in my portfolio for last six months so i got 15 dollar 81 cent distribution per mystician right so let's take a look at that so how much dividend i earn right so so i i earn 15 81 every single one of them and i multiply that with that number of share we have 3731 so what is the total value i have now the value of the stock plus the dividend that was our total value of the stock it is $8,574 so $5,000 that was invested on February 21 is equal to almost $8,600 as of September 9 so that's a whopping profit of $3,500 $3,600 whatever you want to call it almost like 71 plus percent that's huge now that is the profit or the gain we would have made if we bought it on the first day and kept it as of today now let's suppose instead of doing that we thought no nah, you know what how about we just buy it a day before distribution and sell it as soon as we get the payment so here it is if you look at this distribution that's a declaration date right so declaration date is over here payment date is over here so what we're going to do is in this strategy we're going to buy it a day before declaration date and sell it on the day we get the payment so so this is the declaration date, right? 4-3. So we will buy on 4-2. 5-3, we will buy it on 5-2. 6-5, we will buy it on 6-4. So, so on. Now, 4-8, 5-8, this is the date we will sell it. So we will buy it on this date. Hold it for a few days. Let's suppose we buy it on 4-2, sell it on 4-8, right? So keep it for a few days, 5-6 days. So we'll buy it on this date. We'll sell it on this date. So we can get this dividend. So let's do this. So I, I took this date, I, this date, declared it, and paper date, right? And so I put it over here. This is the date we will be purchasing it the day before distribution and we'll be selling it the day we got payment right now. If you look at it each month, we got paid this much distribution for each one of them, right? So let's, so this is the dividend. Let's I put it over here. So this is the dividend we got paid on this one, every single one, right? So we buy it on this date, we sell it on this date and this is the dividend per MST ETF we got on that, right? Now, so it's clear so far on that now. What we do is we go to the Google, right? I mean, while well, I'm using Yahoo for the pricing, it's easy for me to, to get it from that. So if you go to Yahoo on the historical data, you can take a look at it from that. For every single date, you see the date? For every date, you have the open, high, low, close. So what I'm doing is I'm going to go to all of those dates and look at the closing price of it, right? So I went to this date, 4-2, look at the price closing price. Let's, let's do one of thing, 4-2, April 2. Here it is. Where did it go? Okay, here, right? So the price was forty-one dollar twenty-six right? So I'm gonna so I'm gonna do it for every single one of them, and then we see okay, this is the price I got on the right. So this date for two, I bought MST at forty-one dollar twenty-six cents, and I'm gonna sell it at the day I got a payment after getting this dividend right. Now, same way we got the purchase price, we're gonna get get the sell price for that. We're gonna look at this date right. Let's take a look at four eight. 4.8, 
is okay you got a dividend of on four right four eight the price was thirty five dollars ninety cents so let so let's take a take a look at it every single one of them I don't want to go one by one you can just do the exercise yourself okay right so we bought this on four two for forty one dollar twenty six cents we received dividend for four dollar thirteen cents each and we got a payment on four eight so we sell it at the price of thirty five ninety now let's take a look at it and see what the gain and loss was no. Since I'm investing $5,000 on every single one of them, right? So what I did is, what you do is you actually take $5,000, divide it with the price you paid, and this is the quantity you got, right? So you can do it for every single one of them. Now, so let's take a look at it. So what the gain and the loss we have made on this, all right? So if you look at this, we bought it at $41.26, right? And we sold it at $35.90. So how much gain we made? Let's see. So this is what we paid, right? Forty-one twenty-six. The value of the stock today is this much, thirty-five ninety, and we got four dollar thirteen cents dividend. Actually, I did it wrong over here. So let's do this: thirty-five point nine plus four point one three minus forty-one twenty-six. One dollar twenty-three cents. You can do the same for every single one of them, right? Now, so if Let's take a look at this one, then we can explain it more into detail. Now, let's take a look at what happened. So, let's on the month of April, right? On if you bought it just before a day of distribution, which is 42 at $41.26, so that you can collect the dividend of $4.13. As soon as you received the dividend, decided to sell it on 48, and the price on that day was $35.90, and a dividend of 413 was paid to your account. But if you add the dividend earned with the price of the stock, you're still losing money. You are in red. You are losing dollar twenty-three, right? Same thing. You go to look at other month, right? Month of June, same thing. You're losing thirty-nine cents. July, forty-six cents. But month of May, I think it was profitable. You you make it some money. So what I'm trying to say over here is if there's two strategies I'm trying to compare, right? The strategy number one is buy and hold. If I bought it on the day it was initiated and hold it on my account, the gain was 72%. But instead of that, if I decided to be a flipper, when I say flipper means buying a day before declaration date and selling the date, the payment shows up in my account, so that I can get this hefty dividend or distribution it is not as profitable as we think. So in this particular one, MSTY is more profitable to buy and hold. So hope you like this and I hope to see you soon with some other video. Thank you.